एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू सेशन ऑन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर सो टुडे वी हैव अ सेफिलोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस द मोस्ट कॉमन एनालिसिस दैट इज डाउन्स एनालिसिस सो बेसिकली वी नो एनालिसिस वी कैन डू स्केलेटल एंड डेंटल रिलेशनशिप एसेसमेंट और वी कैन मेशर इट बाय कीपिंग अ रेफरेंस टू अ लैंडमार्क और अ प्लेन ड्रॉन ऑन द लैटरल सेफ so these can be either uh, we can do hand tracing or more commonly uh, we can do digitalizing using specialized uh, softwares so downs analysis is a very common analysis used in orthodontics which was uh, first published by uh, mr downs in 1948 his full name is williams downs and it is one of the most frequently used sephilometric analysis which has basically five skeletal and five dental parameters so total 10 parameters out of which five are skeletal and five are dental and this is uh, used between uh, 12 to 17 years of aged patients Uh, so according to down the balance of face is determined by position of the mandible so mandible is a key element to determine the balance so in down's analysis the frankfurt horizontal plane kept as a reference plane okay that is a line from anatomic porion to orbitally so this is the point porion porion is nothing but the bony point on external auditory meatus and the orbital a point we have seen in our cephalometric landmarks this is a line connecting porion to orbital a which is known as frankfurt horizontal plane or fh plane so this is the fh plane which is connecting porion to orbital a so uh, down kept this plane as reference base from which uh, the degree of retrognathism orthognathism or uh, prognathism is determined so this is the reference uh, plane he kept that is fh plane or plane which connects porion or orbitally the first skeletal parameters so let's see what are the five skeletal and five dental parameters the five skeletal parameters the first one is facial angle angle of convexity third one is mandibular plane angle the fourth one is y axis also known as growth axis fifth one is ab plane angle this is the skeletal parameters now let's see what are the dental parameters the first one is cant of occlusal plane inter incisal angle incisor occlusal plane angle incisor mandibular plane angle and upper incisor to a pogonion line so these are the 10 parameters five skeletal and five dental so let's see one by one the first one is skeletal parameters and the facial angle so facial angle it is the inside inferior angle formed by intersection of fh plane and nasion pogonion plane so nasion is this point hope you can see this point nasion and pogonion pogonion is this point pogonion is face placed on the symphysis at the lower portion pogonion is the most anterior point on the symphysis of mandible so these two planes are connected that is nasion pogonion and fh plane and the angle formed inside is known as facial angle so this is the facial angle so facial angle the common value or the mean value is 87.8 degree which ranges from 80 to 82 to 95 degree 
So what are the significance of this facial angle? The one is it indicates the anterior posterior positioning of mandible in relation to the upper face. Okay. So the anterior posterior positioning of mandible in relation to the upper face. So it increased in cases of class 3 because this mandible when it is positioned forwardly that is in class 3 this ankle will increase so this line will move forward so this ankle will increase and it decreases in class 2 so class 2 the exact opposite happens this line will come backwards and this ankle will decrease so that is all about facial angle it is by FH plane and nasion pogonion line the inside angle mean value is 87.8 degree increases in class 3 decreases in class 2 the second angle is angle of convexity in skeletal parameters so angle of convexity is oh, basically it is very difficult to differentiate because any angle we need two lines to intersect at one point so you might not be able to differentiate it because it is joined by nasion point A nasion and point A so that is a black line hope you can see this black line nasion to point A then point A to pogonion that is a red line so these two lines intersect and forms one angle that is known as angle of convexity why you cannot differentiate it because the angle of convexity is zero degree so literally there is no angle between these two lines it is starting from nasion to point A and point A to pogonion so that is angle of convexity the normal value is zero it ranges from minus 8.5 degree to 10 degree so what is the significance significance a positive angle suggests a prominent maxilla in relation to mandible negative angle suggests a prognathic profile okay so positive angle suggests a prominent maxilla in relation to this maxilla this line prominent maxilla this is will be this will be like this so you will get a positive angle and negative angle when you have a prognathic profile okay so it will be negative angle this will be positive angle so this prognathic you will get uh, sorry when maxilla goes forward or such as class 2 relation you get a positive angle and this goes right uh, anterior that is mandible when it goes anteriorly this will change left and you get a negative angle so that is angle of convexity the third one is mandibular plane angle okay mandibular plane angle is formed by FH plane and mandibular plane that is a tangential line to the lower border of mandible so this angle is this angle is mandibular plane angle so this is formed by FH plane and the tangential line to the lower border of mandible forms a line because these two lines intersect here and forms a angle this is known as mandibular plane angle and the average value is 21.9 degree the range is from 17 to 28 degree so the higher mandibular plane angle occurs in both retrusive and protrusive phase and are suggestive of unfavorable hyperdivergent phase okay so when there is a hyperdivergent phase this mandibular plane angle will be increased that is a divergent how divergent the phase is we can understand by mandibular plane angle so this is how it forms FH plane and mandibular plane the fourth one is y-axis this is an important question y-axis so y-axis is nothing but an axis which connects the cella tosica and nathion nathion is the most inferior point 
the uh, symphysis or the lower border of mandible, the snathion and cella torsica, which connects, and the second line is FH plane. So FH plane, this is FH plane, and cella nathion plane, which intersect here, forms an ankle. This is known as Y axis. So this average value is 59 degree. Average value is 59 degree, which ranges from 53 to 66 degree. Okay, so this is important and it's commonly asked short note. What is Y axis? Nathion to Cella tosica. Average value is 59 degree. It increases in the class 2 profile and it decreases in class 3 profile. Because this axis will move forward in class 3 when the mandible is going anterior in class 3. So this ankle will be reduced. Because anyway this plane won't change. So this mandible moving forward in class 3 this angle will reduce and in class 2 this will increase. So that is Y axis. So the last one in skeletal parameter is AB plane angle. So AB plane angle is two, line, two planes which are one is point A to point B. So I hope you can see the green line so which connects point A in the maxilla and point B in the mandible. So this line and the second one is nasion pogonion. So nasion is here, pogonion is here. So the green line. So two green lines. And the angle formed between these two lines is the AB plane angle and it is always negative. Because the point B is always positioned behind point A. You can see point A is little ahead of point B. So this angle is always negative. And the average value is minus 4.6 degree which ranges from minus 9 to 0 degree. So it, it indicates the maxillomantibular relationship in relation to the facial plane. Okay. So the maxillomantibular relationship in relation to the facial plane. And uh, the positive angles you can see in class 3 malocclusion. So class 3 malocclusion you can see the positive angle and in class 1 malocclusion uh, mostly this will be negative. Sorry in class 3 malocclusion uh, this will be a positive angle uh, with a mantibular prominence. So when mantibular is going forward this angle this is already negative so this will change and it will become a positive angle. So that's all about the skeletal parameters of Downs analysis, facial angle, angle of convexity, mantibular plane angle, y axis, ab plane angle. Facial angle is fh plane and nasion pogonion line which is 87.8 degree increases in class 3 and decreases in class 2. Angle of convexity which is nasion point a to point a to pogonion which is almost uh, parallel. The angle is 0 degree, ranges from minus 8.5 to 10 degree. Mandibular plane angle is here, FH plane and tangential line, which is 21.9 degree, ranges from 17 to 28. Y axis is also known as growth axis. That is FH plane and cella nation. that will increase in class 2 and decrease in class 3 and the last one is AB plane angle which is this green lines A and B with nasion and pogonion which is negative always because A is ahead of B and you can see a positive angle in class 3 malocclusion so we completed the skeletal parameters now let's see the dental parameters. So next we have our first dental parameter that is cant of occlusal plane. Okay. So cant of occlusal plane, the two lines are occlusal plane and FH plane. So we have this occlusal plane, you can see this green line, occlusal plane and the FH plane and the angle formed here is of occlusal plane which is 
average is 9.3 degree with a range of 1.5 to 14 degree okay so this is the occlusal plane a line which goes through the occlusion we have this molars and incisor so the line goes like this and the FH plane it intersect here this ankle is cant of occlusal plane okay it gives a measure of slope of occlusal plane relative to FH plane so how much is this slope compared to this FH plane that is the significance of cant of occlusal plane which increases in class 2 pattern and decreases where there is a long ramus of mandible which increases in class 2 facial structures and decreases whereas a long ramus is present so that is the cant of occlusal plane the second one is inter incisal angle it is very easy inter incisal angle it means the incisors that is maxillary and mandibular incisors long axis so this is the mandibular incisor long axis and this is the maxillary incisor long axis and the angle formed inside is inter incisal angle which is uh, average 135.4 degree ranges from 130 to 150.5 degree that angle decreased in class 1 bimaxillary protrusion okay so if there is a bimaxillary protrusion this line will go anterior and this angle will reduce and it increases in class 2 division 2 okay so in class 2 division 2 what happens is the central incisor will be reclined so this line will go forward and this angle will increase so that is inter incisal angle the lines are lower central incisor and upper central incisor and the inside angle is inter incisal angle average value is 135.4 degree the third one is incisor occlusal plane angle uh, the simple trick is you can easily make out the lines are uh, lines from the title itself inter incisal incisor occlusal plane incisor occlusal plane is nothing but the lower central incisor the same line we used for inter incisor and with incisor occlusal plane and the occlusal plane this is occlusal plane and the angle formed between these two lines okay so i have shaded it here with red ink so the lower central incisor and the occlusal plane so the angle here formed is incisor occlusal plane angle uh, so it is uh, average value is 14.5 degree ranges from 3.5 to 20 degree and an increase in this angle is a suggestion of or suggestive of increased lower incisor proclination so if it is more proclined the angle will be more so that is inter uh, sorry incisor occlusal plane angle the fourth one is incisor mandibular plane angle so instead of occlusal plane angle here we have mandibular plane angle so from the same axis that is lower central incisor and the mandibular plane angle is here mandibular plane angle is here so the angle formed between these two that is incisor mandibular plane angle the basic value is 1.4 degree and ranges from minus 8.2 to 7 degree an increasing in this angle suggestive of increased lower incisor proclination if this lower incisor is proclined this angle will automatically increase okay so this is lower incisor angle and mandibular plane angle if lower incisor is in, uh, proclined this angle will increase so that is incisor mandibular plane angle and the last one in the dental parameters that is upper incisor to a pogonion line so it is uh, not an angle so you can see upper central incisor 
and the tip of upper central incisor or the incisal edge of central incisor and the line that is a pogonio line and the distance between tip of the central incisor to a pogonio line so it is a linear measurement uh, not an angle the only linear measurement in downs analysis is upper incisor to a pogonio line so this is uh, uh, linear measurement on average it is 2.7 millimeter which is ranging from minus 1 to 5 millimeter so the measurement is more in patients with uh, upper incisor proclination if this is here the distance will be more so that is uh, a pogonion line to the incisal edge of upper central incisor so that's uh, uh, dental parameters so we have covered uh, dental parameters that is counter for occlusal plane uh, that is FH2 FH2 occlusal plane then inter incisal ankle uh, so I have removed few lines here uh, this is uh, FH plane uh, inter incisal ankle is 135.4 degree which is uh, ranging from 130 to 150 uh, whereas this canter of occlusal plane is 9.3 degree ranging from 1.5 to 14 degree and the third one is incisor uh, occlusal plane angle the incisor and occlusal plane angle should be here incisor and occlusal plane angle this angle which is average value is 14.5 degree ranging from 3.5 to 20 the next one is incisor mandibular plane angle also known as IMPA incisor mandibular plane angle that is incisor here mandibular plane angle so this angle which is 1.4 degree and uh, the last one is upper incisor to a pogonion line that is a linear measurement a pogonion line and the tip of central incisor that is 2.7 millimeter ranging from minus 1 to 5 millimeter so that is all about the downs analysis so downs analysis is little complicated we have too many parameters uh, five skeletal and five dental parameters but it is the most common uh, commonly used parameter in uh, analysis in cephalometrics and the fundamental is FH plane it is basically uh, check the mandibular mandible uh, FH plane is a plane which connects porion to orbitally so in skeletal parameters we have facial angle angle of convexity mandibular plane angle y axis AB plane angle y axis is a short knot in dental parameters we have cant of occlusal plane inter incisal angle incisor occlusal plane angle incisor mandibular plane angle upper incisor to a pogonion line the upper incisor to a pogonion line is a linear measurement not an angle press taller angle so that's all about downs analysis i'll come up with uh, steiner's analysis and tweets analysis in next sessions thank you